Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force. I almost forgot what it's called. For some reason, I have a bad time, a bad memory when it comes to remembering video game names. But, I've played a lot of them, so I guess it's fair enough. The first person I send into the desert all the way up will probably be a sacrificial lamb. Especially near the zombies. The snipers and stuff aren't bad. I need to check my new character. Yeah, I need to get him up another level or two. Uh, just because the next battle can be kind of a pain. But the next battle is like, I am going to grind the hell out of that battle. So, I probably am going to waste a fair amount of time, and I totally should have moved on to heal them. I'm going to waste a fair amount of time uh, grinding, not in episode, but waste a fair amount of time doing other stuff in uh, the city. Because the battle after it is, and the one after that are, in my opinion, some of the hardest battles in the game. Just because, again, the learning curve seems to really shoot up. It's a little better because I have my healers up, which is a good thing. Yeah, I'm not going to heal one yet, but it's a waste of magic points. Actually, I should go over there. Whenever I travel through this desert because there's so many mages, it's best to stay, like, diagonal of each other because they can't lock their blaze grid on you uh, if you're in that group. Like, if you travel in a plus sign, like, plus sign shape, they'll wreck your day. A nice pattern like this will prevent you from suffering really bad magic wrath. I know it's kind of unfair to basically make my other characters suffer in exchange that my lead character gets more experience, but. Knowing what my lead character has to do is a whole other matter. I kind of figured that was going to happen. Not too damaged. Truthfully, I worry more about the mage than I worry about anything else. The mage will probably go after Luke and use a blaze too, right out of the gate. I 
know crossing this desert is going to take freaking forever. I do want to level May up. I'm probably going to keep her the whole time. Fuck! Okay, see, that's bullshit. There's no way a Dark Mage should have outclassed him. Especially a Dark Mage that's technically a level below him. Again, fail. God, piss me off. You're an asshole. Well, whatever. Yes, yes, yes. I'm probably going to take my lead character and May and Chris. And probably Teo. Teo's about to be level 6 anyway. This time I'll probably have my main character on the bridge. And then... May to the side. I'll probably take Kim too. Gord, you can stay back. Lo, you can stay back. I'm just thinking more reasonably about what characters I'm actually going to take with me. Because like at a certain point, you just don't need the characters. Like, Luke pretty much becomes worthless. They're better warriors anyway, and I'll be getting him fairly soon. I think it's next chapter. I'll be getting another character shortly anyway. I'm definitely keeping him gone, just as a healer, because it's either going to be Chris, Gong, or the other healer. I'm probably going to throw in the other healer and get rid of Gong, but that's one of those whichever one becomes more powerful faster. That's the kind of thing about this game, like, especially in some of the last battles, there is some hardcore bullshit that can be used. That's like, obviously the computer, like, puts things in its favor intentionally, and not like, oh, you have overwhelming forces, it's like, an enemy will attack twice in a row with double attacks, or you'll have an enemy that will like, strike a critical, then get another turn, and strike twice. Like, ugh, so frustrating. I 
mean, I don't really use a lot of warriors. Most of them are practically useless. I mean, they don't get a great movement. Uh, they do a fair amount of damage and can take damage, but they don't have a lot of hit points. So, like, one magic burst from an enemy can pretty much take out you know, almost all your warriors. So, it gets more frustrating than anything else. I just always like to have my main character ahead. Not much more I can really say, but I keep saying that over and over again, but... Eh. Slow battle. I also, there... Another game I played on Game Boy Advance, I played, like, briefly when I worked at GameStop. Because uh, I played a lot, I haven't really played many Game Boy Advance games. I played a little bit of Fire Emblem under a suggestion of one of my employees. I didn't really like Fire Emblem, to tell you the truth. Like, it felt like Nintendo's, like, crappy version of this. Of Shining Force. Like, it felt like, well, Shining Force is pretty much gone, at least in its old tactics base, or its dungeon crawler base, so now it's ripped it off. I know Shining Force is probably not the first, but it really is a great game. I just can't believe I'm having so much freaking failage with it. Thank you. Now, if I'm not gonna get a lot of experience from it, I'm probably gonna swap him out with, like, Chris or something. has her own target. Okay, good. Ken might actually get a swap out in the next city, but I'm probably going to swap out with Luke first, because Luke sucks. I know a lot of people are like fans of those kind of characters, like prefer warriors over centaurs. I frankly prefer centaurs over warriors. I think warriors are kind of weak. Plus, centaurs have the, the speed advantage. And that's pretty awesome. But you can see what I mean with this being a good grind battle. I wish the characters up there that were doing idle could just, like, not have a turn. Just 
because it's kind of annoying to have the cursor like travel all the way up there and then all the way back. You look at the it's five. Hopefully the bat doesn't get like a critical or like double turn and happens to kill her. Chris, that is. 